Hello folks, Anime Brian returning to part 4 of Hydra Castle Labyrinth. The game that just won't stop fucking me in the ass. Shows you how gay it really is, huh? <laughs> um... That's funny that it put me there of all places. Well... Thanks to an internet connection through my phone and a little bit of investigating, I found out something. I know where the double jump is. And it's in, not in the dungeon. It's in a room I've only been in once. <laughs> Which means I could have gotten it a long time ago. Let's see if I can remember how to get back to it. Uh, guess I could just go this way. This also could have saved me a lot of trouble earlier, too. Because double jump could have let me skip some crap. Like that ledge I couldn't jump over in the fourth dungeon. The one where I had to kill the fish for it. I could have actually just double jumped over it. But nope, I didn't have it with me at the time. But I'm going to get it now. Probably should stop wasting my uh, sub weapons too. <laughs> Let's see, considering how lethal it can be if you screw up, it's wise to save right here. At least I got a shield. Which doesn't seem to want to work. Ta-da! The wing boots. Which allows double jump. Gas mask. Filters poisonous gas. Well, at least there's that. Yeah, there's something down there, but that's a tricky uh, jump to make. Huh. 
Oh god, I fear how you get that one. I better go save before I try it. Um, let's see. That clearly will not reach. But that trick worked. Silk cape. Resist paralysis. Probably from electroshock. Yeah, and that's one hell of a doozy of a place to hide it. And to save, so I don't have to redo that shit. Not only that, I can gain access to a few other things now. Back, you fucking moron. Seriously, you should turn my this let's play I'm doing into a drinking game. Every time I say the word moron, take a drink. <laughs> You'd be drunk in no time. <laughs> let's see, anything this way. Oh, weapons and health. I didn't want to grab the stupid ladder. Okay. Yep. Makes you immune to poisonous gas. Nice. Good to know I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. No, yeah, I can get up here now. Let's see. They're clearly guarding something. And I just heard a chime go off. Gorgon ring. Resist petrification by those bastardized little laser shoes. You still take damage, but you don't get petrified for it. Okay, um... Let's see if I can figure out where the hell I'm at. There is something I wanted to check. Yeah, I just gotta keep going this way. Whatever. <sighs> Come on. Let's see, is it this way? Okay, I used to think there was like a treasure hidden in the wall, kind of like with the lava, but I was wrong. Otherwise, a chime would have already gone off. 
Not only that, but you wouldn't be able to reach it much either. Dicks. It's amazing what you can do once you have double double jump. <laughs> to think I used to fear the water. <laughs> Make sure I fully got everything in this area. It. Bastard. I get this one already? Yeah, I got this one. Can't remember what it was, but I guess I know it for a fact I got it. Okay, so there's nothing else for me to do in this area. Asshole. I was going to go here for a safe spot. Feels nice to be able to play the game without raging all the damn time. <laughs> Things are going to get a little bit better. Let's see, I have no more business in this area. Uh, gee, where should I be? Guess I go up. Wish there was a sword upgrade. That'd be nice. Or something to make my attack stronger. Yeah, it's, uh, you gotta come in from the other way, though.
Okay, there's nothing up there. Uh... Okay, cool. I managed to fall down there. And then he fucking pushes me off like a bitch. Falling for that shit. Blue scroll. Hurts a certain beast. Yeah, that's about as vague as fuck. Can't imagine anything that's not harmable right off the bat. Except for those things that clank up and down and shit. Well, anyway, I got that. Uh, there's one spot I can think of now where I haven't... I wasn't able to get it before. Let's see if I can make my way to it. Ass. Wait, is this even the right way? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is. Red scroll. So I got all three colored scrolls. What's this one do? Hold the attack key. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, wait a minute. It's not really a projectile. It's a dash attack. That's not that impressive, unless it does way more damage. Yeah, it's not that impressive. Far as I know, I got everything I could in this little section. Yeah, that's really disappointing. Yeah, it strikes multiple times. I don't know if it does more damage. It gives you a little bit of a distance in midair, too, I guess. Let's see. Double jump. Execute. No, you can't regain your double jump. But still, it gives you a little bit of distance, like one or two blocks uh, wide. Might just come in handy to give you that extra push you need to get in somewhere. That actually would have been nice to get uh, for that chest that was right above the lava. Because I could have used that move and dashed into the wall. Let's see. Um... There's a red block next to the first dungeon that I missed on the first in time because I didn't have double jump. I can get it now. Yeah, this will actually take me where I need to go. At the same time, hopefully get some weapon power-ups. Yeah, see, it's useful for that. Mm. 
And you gotta watch out or else uh, it can backfire too. <laughs> Huh. Go figure. <laughs> Raises item chance. That's nifty. I guess I must not have ever destroyed those things before. Which I want to see how this works. Jump, double jump, extra dash. Yeah, it gives you some distance. Oh, there's another set of blocks I couldn't reach. See? Gave me a little push. Hydra ring. Resist poison. Yeah, because it's not just the gas. Um, there were zombie-like enemies that poisoned me when they touched me. So that will resist that. Funny how they call it the Hydra ring now. Since when are Hydra's poisonous? There's a few other items that are missing, too. And I'm not sure if you find all these in dungeons, but... Well... Some of them you do. The cross, what you need for the vampire guy. This damn thing, so you can get to the... Uh, that eel thing. The blue coin, which is also in a dungeon. The candle was found in a dungeon. These were required for a dungeon. So, yeah. Like, some of all the stuff that are down here is actually dungeon items. But if that's the case, then that means there's two items that are found in the overworld. All there was here was a pickaxe. I already got that. Time for that red block next to the first dungeon. Catfish? Catfish gem. Resist quake. That uh, thumping effect that some bosses do. That would have been handy like in the first dungeon. But you need a double jump to get it. Then again, I really could have gotten a lot of this shit. Fuck, I mean, you don't have to go in the dungeon to get most of the stuff. Which means I really kind of half ass it. <laughs> now I was right. There was one item right there and there's one more left. Sad thing is, I have no idea where that last item could be. Hmm. I'm trying to think, where, where have I not been to yet? Pretty sure I've been everywhere. Yeah, there's no stone unturned as far as I'm concerned. But then again, the map I'm working with is, like I said, kind of incomplete, too. 
Like, the idiot who put it together didn't fucking throw everything in there. And he had the nerve to say that the game's more funner without a map. Obviously, he's not a completionist and he needs to shut his fucking mouth. <laughs> I don't see why you would make a fucking map in the first place and then have the nerve to say fucking it's funner without a map. The completionist needs the ma a map to know where everything is. Especially with how vague some of this stuff is in this game. Wow, that increased item chance really kicks off now. That is amazing. No, I, I'm pretty sure that jewel doesn't always go off in every treasure either. Well, I guess I can go back to the sixth dungeon then. Now that I've gotten a bunch of extra stuff. The double jump definitely makes maneuvering a lot easier. Let's see, where the hell am I? this way. Um. Yeah, I guess I should take the high road. Well, it's not like I need health or ammo at this point. Alright, I need to conquer me a dungeon. Yeah, I don't get electric key. That's nice. Ass. Come on, attack! Fucking tar you, fucking your stupid delay crap. Um, pretty sure I can't ride up that thing.
<laughs> that was close. Ass. Bitch. So much is more possible once you have double jump. <laughs> wow, the game is a lot easier. <laughs> That's bullshit. Why would my own sub weapon kill me? That is so fucking stupid. Well, why don't you just hold still, you stupid jackass? Attack when I tell you to, you fucking moron! <sighs> fucking asshole! Wow, that bomb's powerful. Took that fucker out in one shot. I can ride wind currents. Hell, I probably could have got up there with a double jump.
smash. Now this is where double jump really helps. <sighs> Come here, fucker. There we go. That's not fun. You stop that. Whew, that was close. What's the matter? Too stupid to jump? <laughs> Get out of the way! Out of the way! <sighs> it's fucking stupid. Really? <sighs> Screw you, loser. I'm done with you. Fuck you. That's bullshit. That one's breakable, too. Red coin. Oh, that must be at the entrance. Oh, a double jump can't get you up there. That means if you break that thing, you're probably going to get stuck. Match retarded. What, you don't know about double jump or something, asshole? You see that? Double jump makes it easy. <laughs> Well, actually, I'm going to go outside and save anyway. Yep, that works. I 
guess. Whatever. Wow, that's almost like practically undodgeable. That is not an effective weapon. Let's so go back to the boomerang. <sighs> like I'm supposed to be able to dodge that tail. Fuck you, you little cheer. Not that, but the stupid thing falls in my altitude, too. I just don't understand how you expect me to fucking dodge that shit. It's fucking stupid. Fucking surprise attack bullshit. Get away from me! Fucking that's way too much goddamn damage. That's cheer stats damage. Dick fucker. You can destroy the bullets. That's interesting. Wish I'd known that before. Get that tail out of my way! I told you to jump, moron. I told you to fucking jump and you didn't fucking do it. Gee, should I try the fireball instead?
Ass. Get that fucking tail out of my way. Seems like a viable weapon. No, I think Boomerang's the way to go. It has to be timed right if you really want to destroy the projectiles. Get out my fucking way! You're a bitch! That's the greatest dick move you could ever fucking pull. Oh look, I died, but you did too, so it doesn't count. Yeah, the one shot I got through got me. Fuck you. Just get the fuck out of the way. <sighs> Why aren't you dying? Get that thing out of my way! Die, bitch! Die! It's what you fucking deserve! Really, the entrance wasn't that far away. No, that's six. <sighs> Ass. That's how much I hate you. Number seven. It's way over there.
let's see. From where I'm at, I used to go this way. There's the entrance. I just gotta get down there. Uh, let's see, where the fuck am I now? Okay, go down. Need to attack faster. that I doubt I'm gonna be able to blitz through the seventh dungeon before I end this so I'm probably getting this end this episode a few minutes early so that would be it for part four and I'll either probably conclude this in either part five or part six depending on how much shit it tries to put me through so anyway I hope you're looking forward to watch me end this game because things are a little more easier now hopefully <laughs> And so, hopefully I'll see you next time.